Welcome. This is the Integrated Math 3 Practice Test. Question number 25 or in subpart 3, so you can use a calculator. The question says, the windshield wiper of a car rotates through an angle of measure 5 pi 6 radians as shown. The shaded section of the diagram represents the area cleared by the 10-inch blade of the windshield wiper as it moves from one side to the other. Approximately what is the area cleared by the blade of the windshield wiper? So what we're really dealing with is a circle and then there's a much smaller circle inside and we want the shaded part but we only want part of it we just want this that's all we want the purple part that's in in essence, that's what we're looking for. So what are we going to do first? I need to figure out how much it is from here to here and figure out what this giant section is, even including this. Then I need to subtract this part out. So we're going to look at the sector size, just uh, because that makes the most sense. So when I do that, I have a, and to find the sector, you just do like the entire circle, so the whole thing. So from here to here, uh, the area, or the radius is 12. So to find the area of the circle, I would just do pi r squared. And really, a sector is a percentage of the area. So I have pi r squared here, and that would be 12 squared times pi, and you can put pi in the back if you want, whatever it's your choice. Uh, 12 squared is, of course, 144. And if I work that out, I get 452.389 or so. Now, that's the whole circle. I need to deal with the percentage, but first thing I need to do is figure out what the percentage is you'll notice that this is only a little bit less than half. I mean, if we consider this out, this would be half the semicircle. So 2 pi radians, that's how many you have in a circle. So if I'm going to break it out into sixth, two of those is 12 sixth. So to figure out my percentage, ooh, that needs to be bigger to erase. I need to do 5 sixths divided by 12 sixths. And in the old days when I did uh, did some work in elementary school, we would do keep it, flip it, switch it. So keep that one, flip this one over, switch it to multiply, those cancel, and you get 5 out of 12. So that's my percentage or my fraction. If you wanted to do 5 divided by 12, you get the percentage. But this is your portion of this amount. So multiply this. times 5 twelfths. And you end up with 188. The big area is 188.50, somewhere in there. That's of the big sector. Now, Similarly, but not exactly the same, I now want to look at the little tiny sector here. So this part, and I'm going to do it the same way. The nice thing is the radius is only 2, so you're doing 4 pi. you get 12.57-ish. Now to find the area of the sector, small sector, I'm going to apply the 512s again because it worked once, why wouldn't it work again, right? So 1257 times 5 to the 12th
equals 5.24, somewhere in that range. Now to find my final answer, I just subtract the small from the big. Let's do it in this color. one eighty three point two six so one eighty three so your answer is B what else could you do I don't like doing it that way I want to do something else well you can do the area part first and then add the sector part later so it's kind of like hole punching like you do in the like your paper like you have your paper there and then you punch the hole out on the sides usually three of them same thing here I could take the bigger circle I could eliminate the smaller circle on the inside of it and then I'm just left with this part here. So it looks just like that. Um, that's possible to be done. So let's do the area of the big circle minus the area of the smaller circle and then we'll worry about the 5-6 radians later. So area of the whole thing minus area of the small. So the area of the whole thing would be pi r squared. This would also be pi r squared. It's just a different r. I'm going to put r sub 2 there, r sub 1. And when I do that, I get 4 39.82. Now, that's the whole thing, like the whole shaded part if it went all the way around. All I need to do now is apply the 5 pi over 6 part. Again, I'm going to deal with the idea of having 12 sixth radians to make it all work. So 5 pi 6 divided by 12 pi 6. Good old keep it, flip it, switch it. Cancel, 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 times 5 twelfths. Actually, I should write that in a different spot if I'm going to be even remotely accurate. Area of shaded times 5 twelfths. 439.82 times 5 twelfths and you get your final answer of 183.25 same exact thing so you had multiple options that you could have done there the key is to make sure that you punch that middle section out it make humongous difference here because of the answer choices. If probably if you could figure out the area of the larger one without having uh, taken out that little piece, you could still get close to the answer. But it's in your best interest to go ahead and do it. The bigger part is to make sure when you do uh, find the area of the sector, you find the area of the entire circle that it's in, and then find the portion of that whole circle that is uh, represented by the sector. You may have to use a fraction, you may use percentage, whatever. Just make sure you multiply it out and it uh, works the way it's supposed to.